With The Sims 4 getting its most recent expansion pack leaked over the weekend and on top of it, its 10th anniversary coming and going with The Sims basically pulling a We had a 10th anniversary and all you got was a laundry list of problems that we've been needing to fix and haven't. There's still been no word from EA or The Sims regarding The Sims 4 10th anniversary, however what we have gotten is what we could be expecting in the next season of The Sims, so we can take a good look into that. But first, hi, I'm Chasing Dopamine and this is my channel where I talk about games, play games, and just do stuff surrounding games. If you'd like to never miss a video, make sure to subscribe and ring those bell notifications to never miss when I upload. Alright, let's get into it. The Sims 4 season of To Be Continued. Embrace what's next with the new season full of possibilities. From September through December, the season of To Be Continued will feature an array of content that adds new chapters to your Sims stories. Settle with a warm cup of cocoa and enjoy a tarot card reading that takes a peek at what's next. And here's our save the dates. Give your little new boo a sophisticated start with the Storybook Nursery Kit, or build an inspiring retreat to help your Sims creativity flow with the Artist Studio Kit. Both are set to release on September 19th. Honestly, this one for me is really exciting. I love new stuff for like babies and nurseries because we don't get a whole lot of that sometimes. And always new stuff for artists, always down, always hyped for, always ready. Help Grim out and earn free items in the Reaper's Reward event coming to the base game September 24th. Keep an eye out for more information that will be shared in the days ahead. Honestly, a lot of people have been complaining about the rewards event because not everyone's able to log in and play The Sims Daily to get them. However, with the fact that the most recent one they actually brought back in case that you missed it so you can get the items that you may have missed, um, I actually really like it especially because of the fact that we don't get a lot of free base game stuff a lot. So it's really nice to see that The Sims is so willing to give us some free little nuggets when they can. But yeah, it makes me really excited because it seems like this one's going to be like really Halloween-y themed and I just love everything Halloween-y. Speaking of Grimm, the fan favorite hooded figure will make an appearance in the Life and Death expansion pack. Get the first look on October 3rd and embark on an endless journey through life and beyond with the pack releasing this Halloween on October 31st. So it was right when everybody was speculating that we're, we were either going to be getting this pack on Halloween, around Halloween, or like in December-ish, but I don't know how I feel about it being so soon after the most recent expansion pack. Am I excited to get some nice Halloween content and that they are releasing this on Halloween? Yes. Am I necessarily excited that the other pack still has so many bugs to fix that they haven't fixed yet and they're going to be releasing another pack? Not really because it doesn't give me the confidence or anybody else the confidence that we're not going to see the same problems with this pack that we're going to need 8,000 future updates just to fix. But honestly, let me know how you feel about that down in the comments below because I would love to see anybody else's opinion on the new expansion pack coming out so soon. But let's finish this out with as the season continues, there will be free updates and much more to uncover. Follow The Sims across socials or visit The Sims Newsroom to stay updated on the latest. Now, I want to look at a few tweets in response to all of this, but first, let's check out the video that they came out with. With the new season being announced, it seems that The Sims has changed all of their social medias to go with it, and honestly, kind of vibing with the purple plum bomb. It's, it's giving, it's giving a lot, but honestly, most of all, it's definitely giving me those fall Halloween-y vibes, and I, I'm here for it. I am here for all of the halloween -y vibes. Of course, people have a lot to say in regarding to The Sims posting about this. Like, The Life of Sims, who commented, what's to come is sure to be remarkable. Of course, The Sims community chiming in with, let's go! And this one that says, why am I scared? Because you should be, babes. Because you should be. And there are other simmers who just don't quite seem as excited. This person who tweeted, how are you not going to acknowledge the game's 10th anniversary? And this tweet that says, who at EA do I need to screw to get fairies expansion pack? Seriously, so many people asked for fairies and you guys ignore them. 
And honestly, I am with this person because I am also one of those people that would love to see fairies in The Sims. You would never see me playing any other game but The Sims 4 if we had fairies. The community has been begging on our hands and knees for fairies. Give them to us. Just give us the freaking fairies. And then we get this tweet of, are we finally getting a tarot card reader? And honestly, why is a person who would never buy tarot cards myself because just... No, I don't want the juju. I don't, I don't want that. Like no judgment to anybody that does mess with tarot cards, or whatever. If you want to do that, that is your life. That is your time. I am not bringing that juju onto myself or my life. But why would I play this career so freaking much? The Sims being known to release expansion packs extremely quickly and with way too many bugs, this one isn't giving the community too much hope that it won't be the same, but I don't know. Put down in the comments if you think that The Sims are releasing expansion packs way too quickly or not. For now, if you want to see more of my content, why don't you go watch this set of videos over here where we are going through and trying to live in every apartment in The Sims 4 City Living. Alright, see you later guys. Bye!